welcome back and in this video we'll be looking uh, into a new component uh, called as uh, move it and uh, we'll be looking very briefly at what is uh, move it how how does it work with uh, gazebo and how is it uh, used uh, in the robotics uh, industry and work all right so as usual uh, here here is the uh, definition we, you can read but i'll try to explain in my simple term now um, it's an open source platform that works uh, with ros and uh, it is it is used uh, for um, manipulation platform so let's try to understand what it is uh, what is actually a manipulation platform now this is what uh, you see here um, a robot this is one example of a manipulation platform because it is it is there on two parts which is the part of the base which is on wheels the, uh, that is the platform and then you you have the robotic arm here together the, this kind of robots are called um, a manipul uh, manipulation platform and obviously they are used for prototyping commercial application and also when you want to benchmark when we, when you want to compare and you can put some standards on algorithms uh, they uh, they are used now the fundamental thing to understand about move it as the name suggests move has have, means movement correct move is from movement and uh, in robotics we don't call it movement this is something we call as motion correct so it is mainly used for motion planning when you have to move a thing from point a to point b you need a plan for that right because you want it um, uh, you want it to follow a particular path you want to make sure that it does not cause any accident any health and safety issue so you need a plan for it okay so it's a, it's a, it's an open source platform it is used for motion planning uh, it is widely used in manipulation platform and uh, it it builds on uh, existing ros uh, components and using ros formats like uh, the U, urdf uh, file and it is also used with uh, other visualization uh, tools like um, rvis all right now uh, there is also a setup assistant for configuration of um, robots through moveit which we won't be looking at and uh, the website which you can go and explore further uh, is uh, this one and i would encourage that all of you go and uh, watch uh, this uh, website okay go and view this uh, website okay now the next point is that you know what is the uh, difference between um, um, gazebo and move it and i've created this chart uh, from this particular source so you can go and read the documentation faqs also and uh, gazebo as you all know and have seen that it is used as a simulator when you, wherein you have two parts of the simulation one is for the robot and one is for the physics which is the environment and then you also um, uh, have um, uh, the simulation which works with ros within gazebo whereas in uh, move it the fundamental uh, difference is that it's uh, it deals with movement not just the simulator for the robots and the and the positioning and the physics and the path is something like that you know you have a move it which goes and talks with the ros and then you have gazebo so basically ros here acts as a middleware it acts as a middleware between your gazebo and move it so uh, it's not apple to apple comparison between uh, gazebo and move it both serve completely different uh, purpose one um, is for you know is a simulator the fundamental difference is one is a simulator and one is used for movement or motion uh, planning so we'll be looking at uh, move it um, in this section as we deal with more uh, robotic uh, simulation and um, i hope this uh, lecture uh was helpful to give you a brief background with move it and so that you also uh, get an idea about move it as it comes in the next lecture and also do not confuse it with uh, gazebo because when you look in the demo you would look it together all right so thank you and i'll catch up with you in the next video